Hello and welcome guys to Stonewall Penitentiary. So you might have seen some other people play this. Um, I know it's quite popular right now. And um, I figured, you know what? Why not? I want to try this out. Um, I think it's more like an escapist style game. Although, just from this it feels more like a horror game. So uh, yeah. Let's get into it, guys. I was dreaming again. The dream. The one with Jason. Jason Voorhees? An array of nope. colorful okay. lights lit the room, and the spiced scents of cinnamon and clove permeated my senses. Chris For Miles. one brief moment, I was home. Then I heard running in the distance. A disruption. I felt the wind of the basketball as it flew past my face. Heard the loud crash as it struck down the nearby canvas. My masterpiece. Damn it, Jason! I spat. How many times have I told you not to play with that ball in the house? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. The boy was petrified, but I didn't care. I don't want to hear it. I'm done with you. Go to your goddamn room. Now! I came to regret those words. Far too late. <laughs> when Someone was salty. Streamed down the boy's flushed cheeks. He scurried away then and slammed the bedroom door behind him. Good riddance, I thought. I went over to assess the damage. Not as bad as I'd feared. And so, despite Jason's distant sobs, I returned to my work. Amidst the last embers of the dying fire, I listened knowing it would not take long for Jason's cries to fade away. And then, blissful silence. Aha, okay. So you're missing your son now. The shadowy figure trudged through the snowstorm with determination, carrying a weight that served only to fuel more a morbid need to reach their destina destination. It was possible to park the van closer, of course, but that could lead to complications. This was not the first time the figure had followed this path, nor would it be the last. Okay. The shadow back was... The shadow's back was starting to ache, not a surprise considering the bulk of the load. Is that, a, is that your son's dead body, man? While the snow could have proved hazardous, the figure was resilient. Weather would not prevent what was to come. The victim had been... Oh, hey there! Yeah, it's, I think that's that's Jason, right? This victim had been proven... Had proven easier to capture than uh, the others. He hadn't even put up a fight. This was no surprise, however, given everything he had lost. The question remained, however, would this man and the others confess their sins only time would tell after several more minutes the figure finally reached their destination stonewall penitentiary in all its glory up front up the front steps they went with the twist of a wrist the figure propped open the door and carried this unconscious man inside or the unconscious man inside his trial was about to begin Okay. I'm getting some outlasty feels. 30 minutes later. Boy, Straight to a guy's face. Nice uh, slideshow editing there. I woke with a start. <laughs> the fuck is that, dude? The pungent odor of rot and felt the cold sting of rough concrete on my bare back. My head hurt. What happened? I looked down and gasped. There I was, naked, tied up, and left to rot on the floor of some dank cell. Some dank cell. I wished I were dreaming, but my pounding skull told me otherwise. Despite a sudden wave of nausea, I weakly sat up. The room spun as though I had just emerged from heavy anesthesia. Hmm. Where Maybe the hell was you I? have some anesthesia. And more importantly, how was I going to get out? Hmm. Well, I think you're in a prison. After a moment, I cautiously rose to my feet to better examine my surroundings. 
I was tr spider web slithered the ceiling and thick layers of hmm. dirt and grime told me that the space hadn't been occupied in some time. So a door loomed in front of me, a constant reminder of my captivity. My movements must have garnered some attention because a feminine voice suddenly spoke from behind the right cell wall. Hey, you, you awake? Ye, my dear. Want yeah. some fuck? <clears throat> no. Awake. My hands know. are tied, though. Where are you? I can't see you. I'm locked in the cell next to you. You'll need to find something sharp to cut the rope so you can free your hands. There must be something nearby that you can use. See if you can cut yourself free. Yes, I want to view this tutorial. Welcome to Stonewall Penitentiary. This short tutorial will provide you with an an overview of the game's interface. You are currently viewing the game's main interface through which you can explore the game's world. As you've already seen, you'll make choices that affect what happens next in the story. To interact with the game world, simply select an object in the world and then select one of the co commands that pops up alongside of it. Blah, 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 blah. I'm actually not as interested in the tutor tutorials as I thought. Okay. Ooh, index card. Take. I should find a way to free my arms for. Well, fine then, bitch. Let's search the bed. I thoroughly searched the bed. Not easy given that my wrists were tied. Oh hey, is that- On the floor underneath the bed's frame was a dirty penny, dated 1922. Under normal circumstances, hmm. I wouldn't even bother with it. But given my present condition, I picked up the old penny with my clenched knuckles. The rusted penny, okay. That was the idea. Now, if only I could figure out how to do it. How to cut rope with a penny? Okay. I guess I'll turn around. I turned around to find a soiled bed, a rusted toilet, hmm. and a dried sink. You know, they need a plumber place? here. Maybe, uh... Can I not use my items? My thoughts? Okay. With the penny, Aha, I loosened and see, removed mate. three of the great cover's four screws. The cover fell open. Behind it were a set of metal bars, one of which was broken with a sharp edge. There you go. There you go. Now I you done freed yourself. I dropped the rope binding my hands so that it pressed upon the sharp edge of the broken metal bar. I then began to shift my arms back and forth vigorously so that the rope rubbed against the jagged edge. The rope snapped within seconds and my arms were freed. Pretty cool, mate. Knowing it might come in handy in the future, I decided to hold on to the rope. Okay, I'm free. You know, the dude who voice is uh, our guy kind of sounds like a more rustic Dane Cook almost. Not sure why I think that, but reminds me reminds me of Dane Cook for some reason. Um, let's look at the sink or a key. I really doubt there's gonna be a key anywhere. Let's take the index card. Is there a note inside your cell? Yep. You too? It says to meet some new friend. Mine too. Too bad we can't get out of here. A rusted key. Let's take that. 
I found a small key. Try it on the cell door. You know, I kind of feel like, um, her key is door, my key and my key expected, is her key. That would make more sense. Locked. Take the lantern. The lantern. This. Okay, so I don't have that key. Is there anything else that provide that needs a key? Um, what's is that a soap tray? No, yep. Okay. A warns. Nope. Don't need that. Um. Kind of like this point-and-click game. Um, hmm. Bed, cell door. No. Can we tell the girl next to us that our key doesn't work? I tried. Okay. I've been awake about 15 minutes. Who knows how long I was here before that. I tried to wake you, by the way. I called out, but you just kept on snoring. Probably you anesthesia. Decisions. Sometimes the choices you make will affect the story. When you must make an important decision, stars will. Okay. Tell her about my dream. Yeah, I'll tell her about my dream. She seems pretty I cool. I thought of Jason, and heard my own harsh words that go through my head. Yes, about my son. Oh, so I take it you're married. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, where do you work? Just out of curiosity. Where do you work, Jesse? The busy mark, one of those crappy twenty four hour convenience stores. You? <laughs> oh, I'm um I I'm currently unemployed. Have you seen anyone? Yeah, that's a pretty good question to ask. Has anyone I think, walked wait. by your cell? Or did you hear anyone else? No, but I wouldn't have known you were there either if it weren't for your snoring. There must be a way out of here. Probably, mate. Your guess is as good as mine. The fuck was that? Thoughts? Thought. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna read the my thoughts just because I don't really care that much. I tried to open the cell door, but as expected, it was firmly locked. Um, can we turn around? Hey, William. Maybe we have each other's keys. Let's swap. Yep. I thought about that earlier. Yeah, good idea. That is a good idea. Good idea, Jesse. How do you suggest we exchange keys? Maybe we could toss the keys to each other. Wait, are we are we right next but to each other or across the hall? The catch. We'd lose the key. Good point. Let me know if you come up with something. Hmm. Inventory items combined, okay. Well that's an obvious one. Take the key. Right. Key rope. There you go. I have an idea. I'll hold on to the rope and throw the key to you. If you don't catch it, I can pull the key back and try again. Great idea, Will. I'll do the same. I grasped firmly onto the free end of the rope and let the tied key dangle on the floor outside my cell. Hmm. Oh, she's right next Great. to us. We shouldn't have now that hard of a time. throw the key over to me. You can do it! I'm not fucking retarded. Yeah, I can do it. Close, but... Oh, okay. Sure, mate. Oh, nice. There you go. 
Jessie followed suit and threw me the key she'd found in her own cell. I caught it on the second try. Cool, mate. Let's hope this works. Oh, what the fuck? Why did Logitech shit pop up there? Aha! There we are. It worked. Nice. Here. We're both free. Pretty cool. Hell yeah. I should take the lantern with me before leaving. Well, okay then, mate. Let's take that. Kind of like this point-and-click game. I stepped game. out of the cell, turned around, and found myself inside a long, narrow hall that led in several directions, including hmm. south to the cafeteria. South to the cafeteria. I quickly spotted Jesse sitting nervously in another cell. Travel. You cannot travel to multiple locations. Okay. Yep. Go to Jesse. See what's up with her. I walked to the end of the hall and found myself facing an old guard station. Several lockers lined an exterior wall. Hmm. Anyways, guys, um, my name, or, um, this has been Stonewall Penitentiary. If you want me to continue this, just, uh, let me know. I'll probably continue it depending on how many views it gets. So, uh, this is pretty interest. this is a pretty interesting game. Um, there's a lot of mystery behind it. And I've seen some other people play it, and that's why I'm playing it today. So, uh, yeah. My name's Snapchat American. Peace. Ooh.